So here's the general idea. I've played for over 10 million people. I've been told how horrible I am in front of 5,000 people about how like I fake it, how my form's terrible. Guess who's still breathing? Guess who's creating more cut? It doesn't impact me, and this is not a woe is me moment. I don't think I'm superior to absolutely anybody. That's, that would be a fallacy. It doesn't even make sense. What, there's no point. This just means it's like, take it from somebody who does it. It's like, you produce what it is you love. You have to ask yourself, like, if, I if you create something or you believe in something, the creation process, if you love painting and you love what you made, there shouldn't be hesitation in terms of producing what it is. The hesitation is only brought from the extrinsic. And it's important if we can intrinsically look, you know, at maybe not necessarily what it is, but how we interpret our feelings. Like, I feel this way, but is that because of this? It might be because of something else. It's like, maybe that's how we break through the barrier because why? I don't, I don't see nearly enough musicians on YouTube. I don't see nearly enough people playing live. And I'm just gonna shoot it to you straight, sorry. But uh, I, after playing for TikTok Live almost the entire, for a year straight, the only people I take heat from are people, username 64321 uh, with no profile picture, or they're people that I, objectively wouldn't necessarily trade places with. I, somebody that's per, in the like-minded realm of me, or especially people that are much better in terms of objective, it's subjective, it's music, but you know, like the way that it works, have a huge following, they don't even care enough to throw shade because they just respect the fact you're on the grind. They respect the fact that someone's in the arena, putting in the effort. They're the person that relentlessly shows up every single day. They stick with the principle of the truth. They follow what it is they believe, even when literally there is nothing to provide any faith for you to actually keep going. It's like, there's been many times where I'm like, how would, there's, I don't know what if what I'm doing is working, but it's like I, I act in a way that it already has. And it's like, and, what does it mean for something to actually work? Because the truth is, the me playing the cello and creating music at 5, 4 a.m., I'm gonna have to change that, that's what provides me genuine happiness as a human. And it's like, the gates will open as soon as you realize the problem not, might not be like the thing you think it is. I'm tired. It's like, no, you're a darn good, a darn good vocalist. You're an amazing artist. You paint in a way that only you can paint. Believe it or not, your absence cannot be replicated to the fullest degree. You can do things, however, you're never going to get it the exact same way. Your absence does impact a lot of individuals' presence, so we need to be treating it as such. It's like, I'm just not going to, it, I can't, I'm not the person that's going to just stand by while so many people can produce so many great things, but the impact that other people have in terms of their idea or judgment holds them back. The other thing, if you play this, or you're an uh, instrumentalist that has grown up in classical training, I might get canceled for this, pish posh. Uh, I apologize, because the truth is, the ideology of having to pick up an instrument and then feel like you have to prove yourself doesn't even really make much sense. Music is supposed to be something that is expressed in a truest form of emotion. And emotion is not something that you can necessarily dictate based off of somebody's opinion of how you do it. How you do something is your unique style. If somebody has a problem with your style, it's because it's not their style. If we have 70,000 people doing something the exact same way, history will show that's not necessarily the greatest thing. Unique abilities are driven from people that are have the ability to push through the fear. I have so many friends and colleagues and people that I've met that it's the consistency. I can firmly tell you the principle of showing up and just pushing past a little, that limit where you think you can go is what provides that path that you didn't think you could necessarily reach. I'm making songs and stuff, I'm pushing myself where it's like, I don't think I could do it, that means I do it. And I'll just try it. I can't play the Vivaldi winter thing. I think I tried, it's just too complex, but watch me in six months. It's like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be relentless and at some point, someday I will. Be, I don't judge myself where I'm at. It's, I've learned that that's pointless and you shouldn't either. Where you're at is a direct reflection of what you've been doing. And if it's not a direct reflection of who you are. And so I'm gonna play a song live right now. 
Uh, if I mess up, I could care less. It's like you don't have to. Oh, oh there's my, my favorite flavor. You don't always have to provide, like, do something in a way that's perfect. Perfection is actually, it's like, you, someone said that if you make music perfect, it's actually really boring. And it's like, that's so true. What makes somebody's style is the fact they don't play it the way that it was originally played. It's like, you have to think, if you've heard something 10,000 times, you're not going to listen to it with the same intent as if you've never heard it before. If you listen to something 10,000 times, you treat it as that background, which I like being the background music. I'm trying to do that, so if people want to study, like, I make the background playlist. I'm going to play Nouveau Bianche. My phone, if it cuts out, it cuts out because my battery might die. All right, so I had technical difficulties. My phone died. So now I'm just playing the song. Uh, but I'm playing it live. If I mess up, I don't care. I'm on the next 15 notes as the person that's upset with me is focused on that one note. Uh, I'm going to try to play this in a way that I've never played it, so it's going to be crazy ADHD version. This is ADHD Nouveau Bianche. chase your dreams and I would be I wouldn't be so sure that your dreams are as far as you can actually go and it's like you have my support I don't I, it doesn't even matter I've, I've, I go by principle so uh, I'm gonna go to bed rock on